got Bristow cornered. Do you want us to bring her in? Yet. Terminator. Jacobs. Or should I say, Agent Jacobs? Anna, I, I was just... I, I was... <laughs> Please, don't embarrass yourself. We know you work for the CIA. Besides, it's more fun to make you talk. Hey, Sydney. Sorry to call you in on your day off. I was just practicing my slap shot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Next time you want to go one-on-one -on, -one on the ice, I'm ready. What's up? Not sure. Your father called a briefing for this afternoon. Attendance mandatory. Hey guys, welcome back to another I'm Embassy episode. First Let's Play of 2017, in fact. Um, we're going to be playing the 2004 Acclaim game called... Well, it's by Acclaim Entertainment, I mean. Um, Alias. Based off the original TV series that J.J. Abrams produced or directed, I can't remember which one it was, but he's obviously famous for doing stuff like Lost, the Star Trek reboot, and the sequel in 2015 to, the, to evening, A Return of the Jedi being The Force Awakens. He went undercover among the followers of Rambaldi. He managed to infiltrate a cell run by Anna Espinosa. Anna? Our source, Agent Jacobs, informed us that Anna has been working on something referred to only as The Machine. Before being compromised, he made a successful dead drop inside Anna's current location, a Monte Carlo casino operated by Sark from one of his mansions. You're saying Sark and Anna are working together? That's what you need to find out. You and Dixon will be infiltrating the casino. We've already established your alias as a new waitress. And I'll be posing as a player on the casino floor. Since your uniform doesn't exactly have pockets, I'll smuggle in Marshall's Optech for you. After you make contact with me, we can stay in audiovisual contact via your PDA. There's two things you have to do in the casino. If you get too close to Sark, he'll recognize you. But we can tag his driver. Drop a traceable radioactive serum into the driver's drink. That will allow us to track his movements. Once you do that, you'll recover Jacob's dead drop. He stored his intel on disk and hid it in a secure location inside the casino. Hopefully, it'll tell us more about the machine, as well as what Sark and Anna are up to. When you find the disk, Bring it back to CIA for analysis. I don't need to remind you, Sark and Anna are two of your deadliest enemies. So watch your back, Sid. Hey, um, Sid, so your dad was like, make sure my daughter has the... I love how this guy is like, so sure, awkward. Yes, sir, nope, like, so nice, but it's just sir, really awkward. Optech for this mission. First of all, we have the tracer serum. The it reminds me so much of one of my... You do, don't drink um, any of this yourself, please. Right? ICT, yeah, my old ICT there, teacher you know, from um, me, those are the words. high school, yeah. <laughs> right in the frontal lobe, it hurts. Bloody eye. <laughs> Pain. Next up is this razor prism. You splice this baby into the security camera cables and it'll let us see what they see. It's pretty cool. Razor prism! Last but not least is this fingerprint replicator. Now, I got this idea when I was playing with glue and peeling it off my fingers. It, it says... You ever do that when you're... Replicate. The glue and the dried... Uh, then you kind of feel like a zombie with dead skin. No? You know what Personally, when I did that with glue, like when I was in like primary school and all that, slash elementary, if you're American, um, it was just it just really annoyed the shit out of me. Cause like I'd have to like peel it all off. Like I remember once, oh, but soup glue is the worst though. Like I remember I actually pulled off some of my skin when I was taking off um, some of the glue. Like it was it was absolutely fucking shocking. Base camp, I'm in. Read you loud and clear. Find Dixon for your optech before you proceed with the mission. On my way. But yeah, I tried doing this Let's Play once before. Like, I completed this whole. Oh, fucking hell. Camera inversion is this the default thing in this game, and it's disgusting. So yeah, I tried doing this Let's Play once before, and it was just shit, because the 360, like, HDMI port, it kept on cutting out. I just tapped into the 
and like I could barely see what I was doing half the time just because just it kept on blinking and yeah it's just fucking annoying because like I mean I died at least twice like I mean I got up to the next mission and I got into like this fight with these two like people wearing gas masks and they had like these staffs or whatever with like I don't know they just had some steel thing on the end like it's not like it wasn't like an axe kind of reminiscent of an axe but like kind of not but yeah. Order up. Another Bloody Mary for the guy in the corner. Fine. But yeah, also, in, like, more information on this, they actually, for the game, that all the um, actors actually supplied their voices for their actual roles and, the, like, for their character model counterparts. Oh, except for, um, the villain in this one, which is Anna Espinosa. Now add the serum to the drinks and take the tray to the driver. No problem. But yeah, I used to play this game a lot as a kid. I recently watched a couple of the um episodes, like a couple of years ago I watched a couple of episodes. It's actually quite enjoyable. Like, it's actually a pretty good, decent series. Um, from what I'm aware of, it got reasonably positive reviews and, and all that sort of stuff. So, apparently the last season wasn't very good, but I haven't seen that, so... I'm, I'm fucking. This is the second time in this let's play that I was gonna go give the drinks to Dixon. Bloody oath. But yeah, so the mission is simple. Well, this part anyway, we're just gonna spike his drinks. So, pretty much, Bill Cosby the game, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, like, the main character models look alright, but what the fuck is with him? He actually looks like he's got a scrunched up baby face. We're picking up a clear signal from the driver now. Before Jacobs was compromised, he indicated that he would be dead dropping the disc in the freezer room beyond the kitchens. It's in the back of the casino. Great, I'm glad I'm dressed for the freezer room. Well, so am I. And one thing, like, you'll see a lot in this game are save points. Like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> Just save point here, save point here. It's, that shit's more, like, fucking common than finding lost lightsabers in the prequels. The Star Wars prequels, like... Bloody oath. Well, I thought that was just common sense, but, you know... Although, if you actually go in your... What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what? What the shit? What the fuck? My hair, it's gone. Okay, maybe I'll just get seen so like it'll... What the fuck? checkpoint fucking what <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> from what I've come across like this game was actually decently like I mean it had a few bugs here and there but nothing is game breaking as that shit what the fuck hopefully that's just a one off thing alright take two <laughs> Okay, that's better. <laughs> Fucking... What the hell was that shit? Do you have a visual on the disc? Negative. Negative. What are you, fucking robot? You fucking robot, cunt? Alright. Hey, Sydney, get changed! But yeah, I like that, that's well, cool. Like, you actually have to change in like certain environments if it's like cold, like, you know. For example, if you're in a fucking meat locker. I'm trying to just kick it! But I won't break the ice. Um. There we go. <laughs> it's funny. 
<laughs> like, one would just assume to press X to attack, but like, it just makes you bounce off the walls. It looks funny as. That doesn't really look like a disc. Maybe a CD, but... I think I just uncovered the plot. Anna Espert Noser is just trying to promote a mixtape. Shit. <coughs> the Gersh Room. The machine. Tell you what, they've got slow reaction times. Fucking hell. Ah. Like, I don't know how they're not seeing me now. I like messing with them, ready? What was that? <laughs> they're kind of like, what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> and they look funny ass. <laughs> I don't care about fucking hiding. Fuck these cunts. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit! Ha! Ah, you can't! Fucking go all Bruce Lee on your ass, motherfucker. Alrighty. Okay, see that camera? You have to stay clear of here. The elevator up to the executive suite should be down this corridor to the left. Try oh, what the fuck? What? How do you see me? Oh. I'll just save here. Yeah. Like you says, try not to alert that guard, and he's already fucking alerted. What's that bullshit? Fuck. The game is not on my side today. Fucking first, the game break. Oh shit. I'm not going anywhere near that camera. Even though I can probably fucking see me now. <laughs> hey, look at my ass. Slowly does it. New, new. But yeah, it reminds. It's like, it's a lot like the fucking, um, one of the early Splinter Cell games. Like I haven't played that in years either. That was. Yeah. The elevator just started moving. Someone on another floor must have called it. But yeah, this is the first stealth-based game I ever played. Other than uh, Splinter Cell, like the, the original level. Splinter Cell for the powerhouse of the original Xbox. So yeah, this game was released on the original Xbox, PlayStation 2, I think. Um, I can't remember if it was on GameCube either, but I'm pretty sure it was on PC. Yeah, it was on, yeah, it was on PS2. And so I remember seeing a like I remember seeing a Let's Play of it, and that's what made me want to get the game again. So. But yeah, fucking AIDS. <laughs> the controls in this game, like, I mean, they could be better, but they're not fucking terrible. Intruder. Hello, cunt. You fucking wouldn't hit a lady, would you, cunt? What are you going to do? <laughs> Gives me the excuse to hit you, then, you son of a bitch! Alright. Serious face on. That computer might contain something. Hack it with your remote mode. Select the device when you're next to the machine. Well, that gives you a visual representation of the security protocols you have to break to get it on your hard drive. Yeah, so. This shit is very common in this fucking game. Like, apparently your remote modem can fucking hack into anything. Wish we had one of those. And you could see George Bush did 9 11 after all. Alright, CDA. Alright, surely it's CDB. Alright, okay. DA. Okay, so it's like. Um. BD. Right. Hey! Well, that was a BD. Hey! <laughs> Not just BDA, BD. Hey! <laughs> Oh, would you look at that? Hot off the press. What is it? 
their face. No, it's just it's like. On the machine. Their lips aren't even fucking moving. Prototype for it in some kind of weapons plant. Where's the plant? According to this. Oh my god, it's underneath the casino. Wait, I managed to isolate the schematics of this weapons plant from the computer hard drive when it acted. It's kinda like knock knock. Is there anybody calling? Oh the fucking dogs are barking. Like lucky. It's imperative you find this weapons plant. We might be able to get ahead of some yes. for a change. That depends on how much time I have. We must kill those vegans. Not yet. Alright, base camp. I'm heading for the plant. That's it. We're going to stop the vegans from taking over the world. But before we stop the vegans from taking over the world, we must cut off the video. And I will see you for the